Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be explaining you an application layer protocol. So in all the previous sessions, I have been explaining you about the transport layer. So in the TCP IP protocol suit, the, the layer on the top is the application layer, transport layer, and the network layer. So I have covered maximum topics in my sessions from the network layer as well as transport layer. Now let me just try to cover as much as possible. There are several applications in the application, uh, several applications available in the application layer. So these applications normally we call it as what in the TCP IP protocol suit it is providing as protocols only. So those protocols are too many. So as much as possible, I'll try to see whether I can be able to make a video lecture on each of these uh, protocols in the application layer. But in today's session, I have uh, decided to start with the first protocol in the list hypertext transfer protocol it is called as the uh, what http and so this protocol is making the client to what to access the web pages as soon as a client opens a browser on its system on his or her system then the client will be able to what easily access those web pages whether it is from the google or facebook it is the protocol it is the http protocol that is providing you this facility now when the web page you want to retrieve from the server or you want to send a web page or a document to the server so let me just explain you with this scenario client is here server is here so to understand the functionality of the http protocol let us take into account these these uh, su subtopics first and foremost thing is the port number http uses is 80 so this is very important for any application layer protocol you are going to tell what the port number so here the port number is 80 it is a well known port number and reliability aspect of http reliability http by itself is not a reliable protocol but any application protocol it has to make use of a transport layer protocol only. so it makes use of the tcp and because tcp is a reliable protocol once it is making use of the tcp definitely what the connection that it it is trying to have between the client and the server becomes more reliable so this is what with respect to the reliability by itself it is not a reliable protocol but it it becomes a reliable now because it uses what the tcp protocol so http is a stateless protocol what do you mean by stateless http is not going to save or record the request made by the different clients there are thousands of clients that are going to access the web pages on a website and http will not save those requests at all so http doesn't know that what a particular client has made a request earlier if it is asking once again a new request that is a client is making the same request also it will never refer because it has not saved the those requests but still there are certain applications that are trying to make this as stateful normally when you are trying to buy some item on the available apps nowadays whether it is flipkart or amazon mintra all those websites what do you do is whatever request you are making there your requests are getting saved so next time before you start trying to find out any particular item okay to select for purchasing it will first try to show you those items that you had referred earlier so it has saved your request so that becomes what a stateful so in this these applications are trying to make it stateful otherwise http is what a stateless protocol HTTP makes use of these methods that means the client is making, making use of these methods to get all the requests done. So basically you have the get method, get method is to get a document from the server. You have the head method, the client is not interested in the document but wanted to know about the document, when the document was created, what is the size of the document. So those details if it wants to know it makes use of the head document, head uh, method. You have the post, the client can post a document on the server, trace, the client can trace its request because sometimes the client gets a doubt that whatever request I am making to the server, is it going correctly, is it reaching successfully. So that time it can make use of, it echoes back the request for that user. Delete if the client wants to delete a document, it, by using this method it can delete a document from the server, connect and you also have one more method put. So I will tell you the difference between the post and the put put method the client can send a document to the server but post method is the document is already existing it is adding some extra information to that document so post is that uh, the difference between post and put is like this connect is a reserve method which can be used uh, by proxy servers options is a method wherein the client wants to know the properties of a web page so these are the different methods when these methods that means when these methods are 
they are available for the client to get the information from the server the responses also comes from the server side so there is a list in the textbook for the responses mainly it is uh, giving responses in terms of numbers three digit numbers there are certain numbers in the 100 series 200 series 300 series 400 series suppose if it is sending a response as 200 the meaning of this is okay that means your request is successful whatever request you had made is successful like that you have a list of uh, responses so that responses are always sent in what in the form of three digits so that is what you have to include in your explanation suppose if a question is asked then http the properties here is non persistent and persistent you should know see this version 1.0 is non persistent and 1.1 .1 is persistent so what is the difference between these two now what is the difference between these two non persistent in non persistent normally a connection is made okay request is sent then the connection is closed once again to make another request connection is made request is sent and the connection is closed so for every request definitely for the request the response is also there fine the response also is there here now look here for every request a client is making there should be some connection establishment happening then the request is made then finally the response comes then connection gets closes but the client is interested in getting the information from the same server but even though it is same server it has to make a fresh connection so tcp uh, this http makes use of the tcp which is a connection oriented protocol so for connection what will happen these those three messages has to get exchanged isn't it so first message will come here then the response for this acknowledgement for this then when it is sending the third message it will also send the request it will also send the request because to establish the connection it needs what these three messages to get exchanged first these three messages are getting exchanged in the third message that comes here as an acknowledgement to this it also includes the request message then it gets the response finally for close to close the connection once again what three messages has to get exchanged so every time a request is made for a particular document or information what is happening is connection has to be made connection has to be closed so if a client is trying to access n documents n documents then n plus of one times the connection opens and closes so this is an overhead here so non persistent i will just give you an example suppose if you want to access a uh, web page uh, or a website which wherein you wanted to get some information about the scholarship or you want to apply for a scholarship then you start certainly what on the scholarship uh, website you see the different options available there so you start clicking one after the other you have started with initially like to apply the scholarship you have fed so much of information that is all details about yours then you have you went to the next step you went to the third step like that there are certain steps to complete suppose before you submit you have closed that website you have closed the website before you submit that application what will happen when you open it again you have to start doing it once again all right from what the very first information whatever you had fed so we say it is like a non persistent here it is immediately what making the complete access for that client which has already entered as to start with what once again a fresh type of request to be made so this is what we call it as non persistent but persistent is you started accessing then you are not you are not you are finding it from wherever you had stopped you can start once again uh, feeding the information or accessing the information from that point only so this also you can see some example like even the may emails gmail is there and uh, normally if you see you log into the gmail and then later without signing out you have closed the gmail once you open it again you can see the inbox page if there is no time out time out attached if there is a timeout then you are asked to what once again enter the uh, username and password if there is no timeout attached then you can immediately start seeing all the messages you can see the inbox of the gmail available in front of you so that is called as the persistent so this way uh, this this persistent is uh, there for the version http 1.1 one sample for the http hypertext protocol uh, this one is you can see here you will start you can notice that in the address bar 
एच टी टी पी विल अपियर दैट इज द प्रोटोकॉल नेम कोलन डबल स्लैश एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज कॉल्ड एज दी ओ होस्ट यू कैन यू कैन जस्ट डिवाइड दिस यू आर एल इन टू थ्री डिफरेंट दिस इज द प्रोटोकॉल दिस दिस इज द होस्ट दैट इज वॉट एवर इज द नेम टू दैट कंप्यूटर टू द सर्वर गिवन टू दैट सर्वर विच इज स्कॉलरशिप जस्ट रैंडमली आई आई एम टेकिंग सिंपली वन एग्जाम्पल यर ओके एंड दिस इज द पाथ सो यू कैन से प्रोटोकॉल होस्ट एंड पाथ सो समाइम्स पोर्ट नंबर इज ऑल्सो देर सो दिस दिस वे यू कैन एनालाइज ए गिवन यू आर ऑलवेज इट विल हैव डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स इट विल बी अ प्रोटोकॉल अप टिल हियर देन वॉट एवर इज द नेम अपियरिंग दैट इज वॉट एक्चुअली द सर्वर नेम यू कॉल इट एज ए होस्ट and then the other pages that are there or whichever you want to access that becomes the path and one important uh, information uh, uh, one one more point with respect to http is http is not a secured protocol but you can make it more secured now why do we say it is not a secured protocol the messages that are okay uh, sent in the using the http protocol are not encrypted hence there is a chance of what definitely getting hacked by the hacker those messages can be read by the hacker that's the reason definitely security can also be incorporated here you want that particular information to be more secured hence you can see that whenever you open a particular um, you this one website if it is having this letter yes http yes it indicates what it is a secured protocol it you are whatever information you are accessing there will not be what it is encrypt it is reaching to the server in the encrypted format to make it more simpler and to cover it in one session i have discussed here the important features of http okay hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care